another installment of his journey in rebuilding his childhood Star Wars collection. Well, not so much childhood. childhood yeah. Because I only had like a, a, a couple of pieces when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. Most of what I had, I had as an adult. Okay. All the carded and loose and boxed pieces that I had, I had as an adult. And this is what's left. And I've been slowly chipping away at it because it's just not that easy anymore. Yeah. This stuff has gotten so outrageously expensive. expensive. Now, one thing I, I threw in here that wasn't here before mm -hmm. that I didn't get new, but I just wanted to show that. See this cup? This is my childhood cup. Okay. This is the actual one that I had. I know it's all beat to death, but this one was a mail away exclusive from General Mills cereal. So this was made by I forget the name. It's Thermos Thermoso. Thermoso S E W. Okay. But this was my childhood cup. I used this for everything for probably a two or three years. <laughs> <laughs> and managed to hold on to it all this time. Yeah. And all it is is like their standard like thermal cup and they put a piece of paper in there you can see that's a piece of paper inside of the yeah. thing and they seal it but that's mine well it, it, it fits out. in well yeah with I the collection it and stuck it there vader can keep an eye on it but i found another deal i found a great deal on something and i'm going to add it in here today mm -hmm. and it's part of the large scale series again okay that's a big box for something that size. This is a big box. This person didn't want this back. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> they, they know the post office yeah, and all of that. They probably saw my videos. Probably. They saw all those unboxings that I have of like smashed to bits cases and things that I've received. <laughs> and I mean, because that's disappointing. I'll go ahead and open this up and you'll see who it is. Jeez. <laughs> well, I'll let it be a surprise, so I'll leave it up. Right. Taped the Those accessories. Yeah. I wrapped everything up. Oh, why did they do that? I, I think I know why they do that. Now, with this, and I already know, the box is pretty much junk. Mm-hmm. The box on this is wrecked. Are you going to try and get Even another though, box? Well, yeah, eventually I'd like to get one boxed. But the box on this is wrecked. And despite that, this guy made more of an effort to keep it safe than most of the other people that I've had to deal with. But the, the box is jammed up. Oh, yeah, that's a horrible box. Yeah, the, the Kenner point's been cut off. But you knew that. I knew that, yeah. The lid is detached. You know, it's coming off. Mm -hmm. The cellophane is coming off. But Chewbacca no. and his bandolier just dropped is minted complete. And this is his bandolier strap. And effectively, I paid less for this than the going rate for a loose Chewbacca. Mm. So basically I got the beaten and battered box for free. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to display him loose. And I'll just put the box up because the box is wrecked so badly. Mm -hmm. And you know, maybe one day I'll come across one at a decent price or whatever that's still sealed in the box that looks as good as the two I got sitting there. And there is his uh, blaster, his little bow rifle. Can he hold it? Yeah, that's why they put this little loop on there to make sure he could. <laughs> so you put... <laughs> is it like uh, it's kind of wonky the way that works, but like that. He needs to be dusted a little bit, but that's okay. 
There's the Chewbacca. Kind of a retooling of the six million dollar man uh, Bigfoot. Okay. Because that's all it was except it had a panel that came out right here and a different head mold. But uh, essentially that's what it is. I've never seen that before, but it looks awful. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I mean, it looks kind of cheesy. It's, it is. <laughs> I mean, it is. The neck doesn't move. No, it's only four points of articulation. <laughs> they uh, they cut a lot of corners with this because they were their their options were, can we make realistic fur? The answer was no. Uh, so, <laughs> I mean, uh, come on, you know, uh, these two are basically the Hardy Boys dolls with replaced heads. Yeah, but at least they got, like, clothing, the face looks kind of decent. Oh, uh, is he too tall? Oh, he is too oh, tall. Oh, he's too tall. Oh, you stink. Uh, I had, uh, well, you can I push up them puffing stuff. Yeah, I guess so. I cleared a space for him so we could stand next to Han Solo, too. I guess I might just have to bring him down. But, you know, there's your, there's your Chewbacca, pretty much excellent condition. Mm -hmm. These are often missing. These little uh, oh, silver me pieces. Get in there. Oh, I can bring them back up. Well, I'm already zoomed in. Okay. Well, okay. these little silver pieces, mm -hmm. they can come out of that strap. Oh, okay. What is that supposed to be? Like, like ammo? Like a, yeah, like a cartridge for this. Uh. And... Kids took them out, and so you often see the bandoliers with those missing. And they also counterfeit those now, too, so you uh. have to be careful. But this is, you know, an original owner that I got this from. He looks so happy, doesn't he? Look at that face. Yeah, he does look <laughs> like yeah. his eyes are deep, deep set. <laughs> yeah, and they're like blue. Oh, but boy. He needs a little bit of dusting. Okay. But that's okay, and I guess now i got to figure out a better positioning for him. I guess I can uh, rearrange it and maybe bring this down one slat and then move him up. Because a lot of people mistakenly call this a 12-inch series, but you can see that they're all kinds of different sizes. He's much bigger than Boba Fett. Boba Fett's bigger than them. Boba Fett's gigantic. Yeah. <laughs> he looks like a big freak. And again, you know, take a look at the box. You can see that the uh, the box is a mess. That lid has been completely detached and somebody put tape on it. And yeah, the box is junk. That's all right. And it figures that the flap's not folded. <laughs> Because <laughs> you know that's a, big, a huge pet peeve of mine is those folded flaps mm -hmm. that you often see, but uh, yeah, I'll just put the I'll just put the box up. Oh yeah, here it demonstrates where it goes. Okay. Since you were asking, mm -hmm. but those are those are often missing from these, and again, I got it at a price cheaper than if I was even buying a loose complete one. Mm -hmm. So I can't complain too much. Yay. Yeah, that was a really good deal. He packed it well. I'm happy. And you're one step closer. Yeah, one step closer. Baby steps indeed. Yeah. Step this by is step. A, this, this is a huge series. Not even counting like foreign variants and whatever. You trying to dig deep that far? No, not really. I'm just trying to do whatever I can do. Yeah, I'm, not, <laughs> I, I'm not like going to fluster myself over it because I know how in-depth the whole Star Wars thing is. I used to have all the American stuff on the card and loose, which was huge enough, never mind the foreign stuff, mm -hmm. which I really didn't have any. Um, I don't even think I had, I don't think I had Tri-Logo. I had the Star Wars, Empire, Jedi, and then Power of the Force, but I don't think I had any Tri-Logo stuff. Mm -hmm. I didn't get off into that. But, um, which I, now I do, because remember my, uh, my other unboxing, I showed a tri-logo um, Gamorrean Guard mm -hmm. that I had picked up really, really cheap. But, you know, doing what I can, I'd like to at least be able to complete the large scale. Get a How many in there, roughly? 
A 40 or 50? <laughs> no. Oh. Not hardly. Hmm. Well, you see the back of some of those cars, and they're crammed in there. It looks yeah. like it's 100 on there. Okay. No, but yeah, those are the three and three quarter inch mm -hmm. variety. But there's not, what is there, like 11? Um, oh, that's not bad. There's two versions of the R2-D2 because one is remote control. There's a remote control and a loose one. An IG-88 that goes with him, with the uh, Boba Fett. The, well, you um, got seven, so you, you get yeah. in there. I'm just, you know, thinking off the top of my head, the Stormtrooper. There's a Stormtrooper, a Jawa, Ben Kenobi. Mm. I still need... You know, there's a, there's a few pieces in that original line, but they they discontinued the line. They had uh, prototypes for a few more, but decided not to go on with it. Oh, okay. You know, what I'd like to get also is the Indiana Jones because mm -hmm. they're you know they redid this to make a 12 inch Indiana Jones in a same style box, but the box matches the colors of the Kenner Indiana Jones figures. Oh, okay. Which would be kind of nice. But yeah, that's where we're at today. And hopefully I can dig up something else.